Hi Virgo, I'm Pam, the Lucky Mermaid, Psychic Seer and Modern Mystic, bringing you psychic predictions and messages from my spirit guides for June of 2022. Please be sure to watch your sun sign, your rising sign, and your moon sign to get a more clear and complete picture of what's to come for you in June and perhaps beyond because timing will be different for all of you in these general readings. Remember, sometimes your rising sign and your moon sign will resonate more for you than your sun sign. And if you're born on the cusp of your sign, sometimes your psychic predictions and messages are coming to you from there. So you might want to check that out. This recording is for Virgo Sun, Virgo Rising, and Virgo Moon. I'm using the Hanson Roberts Tarot Deck in these readings. All that being said, Virgo, now on to your June 2022 Psychic Tarot reading. First card you have, Virgo, is the Seven of Rods. And this is taking the moral high ground in a situation. It could also be closing the door on negative energy or negative communication coming at you. You may feel overwhelmed by things that you need to do this month. Like you've got a huge to-do list. I got to get this done. I got to get that done. I got to take care of this. I got to take care of that. You may feel very overwhelmed by that. You may even be looking for escape escapes, like how you can get out of doing some of this stuff that you that is in front of you. And it's going to be like the little details I feel that's going to get on your nerves because it's there could be a lot of minutia you have to deal with and you're like it's not just big projects it's all this little uh piddly stuff you may not want to be dealing with it i do feel like you're on your way to completing some kind of bigger project but it's like all this other little stuff is getting in the way um it's like you have to take care of this little stuff before you can complete the big project. You may find yourself also answering, having to answer a lot of text messages, phone calls, even things that are like uh, things that would be like instructions or details or things given to you by bosses or maybe your significant other that uh, you have to you have to deal with and do as well. You may be very conscientious about watching your figure in June, watching your weight, watching your figure, concerned about your physique and your physical appearance. You have to be really careful of your eyesight in June because I feel like your eyes are going to be especially sensitive to the sun. Now this could be just because it'll be very sunny in June maybe but it could also be if you have any kind of like uh, trouble with your vision or you have any kind of uh, eye procedures done like any you know Lasix or any I don't know, or any uh, like new contacts, new glasses. I don't know you, but I feel like you need to wear sunglasses. You got to be protective of your eyes in June. I feel like if you look back, some of you Virgos are going to see that you're making more money in June this year than you did June of last year. And some of you may feel like you don't want to give up something that other people are trying to get you to give up. Like if it's like you are smoking and your family's like, we want you to give up smoking and you really don't want to give it up or, you know, some kind of hobby or sport or, you know, it could be an another kind of habit. And you could have people that are pestering you about it. Uh, or urging you to give it up and you may feel like you just don't want to do that. Now the next card you have in your reading is three of rods which is success. 
This is waiting patiently for success to come in or letting go of something so success can come to you. It could also be indicating you're at the beginning of some beginning phases of some kind of successful business venture or beginning of some successful endeavor of some type. I get that Virgos are going to be marching to the beat of their own drum and you are going to be doing things differently. You're going to be doing things your way. Because I, t I hear you. I want to forget how I used to do, um, do that. Or I, I don't want to do it that way anymore. You're going to want to adopt new ways of doing things. It could be new methods, new techniques. Uh, I don't know. And where is this falling? It could be in your business, if you own your own business, or at work. Or it could be in any kind of creative projects or artistic projects or endeavors that you work on. I feel like you are considering in your mind mastering some kind of craft or skill or in some way like it's on your mind. I don't know whether you're doing it yet in June if you're taking any classes or courses or trying to master, master uh, something, but it's going to be on your mind to do it. You're going to be thinking about doing it. Some of you Virgos are going to hear, heal, heal from some relationship wound that had already occurred. So like if you had a fight with your significant other, you're going to be healing from that relationship wound. Or if somebody broke your heart, uh, it doesn't just have to be love relationship. It could be, you know, maybe one of your kids or your parents or somebody said something, some friend relationship and they hurt your feelings or they did something that hurt you, you're going to be healing from that in June. I do feel that Virgos are also going to be finding new ways to project themselves and to project what they want to get out there. So you could be finding new ways to market your talents and your skills, your knowledge and your know-how. You could be uh, learning new ways to market your work, market yourself. Some of you Virgos are going to return to doing something you did in the past. It could be an old craft you used to work on, an old hobby, an old sport, an old skill, but it could be an old job even. But returning to something like that from the past comes up here. I do feel it's very likely that Virgos will be making new friends and new alliances with people that could start in June, but I don't feel it's only in June. I feel that that's something that you may find uh, evolving for you over the next three months, three to four months. So the next card you have in your reading is the Seven of Pentacles, and this is being tired and exhausted from your hard work and efforts, but gaining financial gain and rewards from your hard work and effort. If you work for another business or company and it's not your own, I feel like you're going to be asked to do new, new projects, new work, new things. So if you work for another business or company and you had specific job duties or specific things that you did, I feel like they're going to ask you to do new things. It could be a promotion for some of you, but for some of you, it could be a lateral move or they're just asking you to do new things in addition to what you are already doing. You may feel a little exasperated. You may feel like you can't complete everything that's on your plate or everything that you want to do. You could feel like, uh, you know, a little overwhelmed or a little overburdened in June. You may have to ask for help. You may have to tell your bosses or the people in charge like, yeah, okay, I'm all fine and well with doing this, but it's, you know, I need somebody to help me here and there complete these tasks or projects. Maybe you don't need help constantly, but maybe here and there you're going to, they're going to have to give you somebody to help you with it. 
I feel many Virgos are going to get some kind of raise between June and the end of September. You may feel like you're finally getting appreciated and you could be talking to people that are like higher ups in the business you work for. And you may feel like there's some trade off in your in your job, like, well, I'm getting more money. I, well, I have to do more work, but the trade off is I get a raise and I get more money or, you know, I've got more work. But the trade-off is they're going to give me somebody to help me on occasion here and there. I, I don't know. But there's also some kind of trade-off that comes up with this. And some area of your work or something that you've been working on or something to do with yourself finally gets the attention it deserves. And if you had contention at your job with other people, I feel like you will be getting along better with people, even people maybe you didn't get along with well before. I do feel, and, and that could also be happening socially or in your family. I do feel that some Virgos are going to be dropping some money on something soon, maybe in June, but maybe not June. It could be a little later. Uh, like dropping some money on some uh, like big purchase could be buying a home, could be buying a car, uh, could be buying, I don't know what, but something that would be considered an expensive purchase. So if you would like to get an expansion of this reading where I get more messages and predictions from my spirit guides, when I look into my crystal, if you're interested in the June psychic crystal readings, for 2022 for your sign. That link is down below in the description box in the show more section underneath this video. And you can also get them on my website, theluckymermaid.com on the videos page. You just look for the heading of the psychic crystal readings for June of 2022 for each sign of the zodiac. You can click on your sun sign, your rising sign or your moon sign or any other sign that you're interested in getting. And that, when you click on that link, it will take you to that video on Vimeo. Now, the next card in your reading, card number four, is Nine of Swords. This is grieving the loss of a love relationship. It could be grieving the loss of something else. It could also be sleepless nights, migraine headaches, bad dreams. You could be not feeling well. You could be worried about somebody else not feeling well. You may feel like you're tired of a situation. You may feel like you have lost hope in a situation. You may feel like you had, you thought things were going to work out, but then they went south and you're trying to figure out how it can turn around again. For some of you, this could be a love relationship that suddenly turned south and, and you thought, well, I thought this relationship was going to go great and work out. And now you may feel like you want it to work out. So you may be trying to figure out how you can fix it. If it's not a relationship, it could be something you were putting a lot of your time, effort and energy on that you were, and you, you thought this is going good. It's really going to work out. And then it fell apart or it didn't go well. And now you wanted to see, can you turn it around? And you may feel like you want to fix it. So it could be something literally that you put energy and work into, but it could also be a relationship. And it doesn't just have to be a love relationship, Virgo. This could be a relationship you had with a family member or a friend that you put a lot of effort into it and then something went awry and it didn't work out. And I feel like you're going to be sorting things out in your mind, like step by step, like what happened? Like where did the, where did things get derailed? I feel like you're going to be thinking this over. You, you know, for some of you, you're going to find out something 
that you weren't supposed to know and you might not be happy what you find out. You could overhear a conversation or it could be something you read. Uh, it could be on an email, a text message. It could be overhearing something on an, a voicemail coming in on an answering machine. It could be overhearing a conversation. Uh, because some of you, I do feel, it's not going to be all of you Virgos, but you find out something that you weren't supposed to hear uh, or you weren't supposed to find out and now you have and you don't really know what to do with it. It's causing you to feel, have sleepless nights, be worried. Some of you could have regrets and feel ashamed or feel bad about something you did that you wish you didn't do. If you cheated on your significant other, you may, or flirted with somebody and you could feel bad about, and you were already married or engaged or, or in a serious relationship with somebody else and you flirted with another person or cheated on uh, your partner with somebody else, you could be having regrets, but it could also be other kind of regrets too, where you made a poor decision or said or did something at work uh, it could be in a work-related situation or somewhere where you put your foot in your mouth and you wish you hadn't. These are the things that are coming up here. You're going to have to see which makes sense for you, which is why I always say you really should watch your rising sign and your moon sign. Some, you know, I could be really talking to Virgo rising here more than Virgo sun. I don't know. So always good to watch your rising sign and your moon sign, but especially your rising sign, because, you know, your rising sign could really be giving you your messages this month and not your sun sign. I, I don't know that. So always good to watch both if you can. So the next card you have, the last card of your reading is three of pentacles. And this is expanding your work, expanding your business, expanding your craft, expanding your skills, focusing on craftsmanship and attention to detail comes up here also with this. I feel that some of you Virgos are really starting to build up your career or it could be build up a business that you that you're starting. And I feel like you're going to find everything you can to make your business, your website, your web page or your work or your career career special, like where you're like, I got to pull out all the stops. You may feel like you want to have the best products, the best services, the best attire that you're wearing at your job. I don't know what it is, but you're going to be looking for the best. You're, you're going to want things to stand out. You're going to want things to be special. You're going to want top quality. Some of you are going to be working on fixing something up because you're going to turn around and sell it. You could be fixing up your house because you're going to turn around and sell it. You could be fixing up an old car because you're going to turn around and sell it. I don't know what it is. You could be fixing up old furniture, refurbishing things, and turning around and selling it. I do feel like you're going to be making more money from all your efforts and endeavors now and over the next six months. I feel you'll be making more money. And you may want to, if you're an artist, you may want to find a way to showcase your talents or skills. It could be like in a gallery setting. And even if you're not an artist, you may want to showcase your talents and skills to draw more customers, clients, and business so, to you. So you could be attending fairs. You could be putting yourself on a YouTube channel or some other type of video platform and get to get your work noticed to attract clients and customers to you for your talents and skills or to draw 
and attract people to your website. Some of you are doing painting where I feel like you may be painting your house either inside or out because painting does come up here. Could even be artistic painting on a canvas or on objects, but because the word painting is around you. So the best gemstone crystal I got for Virgos to work with, use, and wear in the month of June 2022 is lapis. And the other sign that got lapis is Pisces. So lapis encourages self-awareness. It encourages you to speak your truth. It reveals inner truth. It stimulates objectivity and clarity. It encourages creativity and it inspires confidence. Lapis provides qualities of honesty, compassion, and morality. It's going to be a good healing stone for you, especially if you've had any kind of uh, emotional breakups or any kind of sicknesses or illnesses. It's going to be a good stone for you to help with healing. It's going to motivate you in the sense like you're going to get things done faster. Your work projects faster, your creative projects faster, whatever you're doing, it's going to help you get things done faster in June. Definitely sleep with this stone under your pillow because I do feel if you're a Virgo that's had issues with sleepless nights, which is one of these, the things that this uh, Nine of Swords can represent, I do feel it's going to help give you better sleep, sounder sleep. And if you're doing any kind of training or learning or ed any education, like taking any courses, classes, anything like that, it's going to help you with learning. It's going to help you assimilate that information and retain it if you're learning anything. So always good to wear Lapis in a class, in a tutoring session, a coaching session, a webinar, online classes, at, cl at school, whatever you're doing. So I hope this reading was of help to you and I hope it made sense. As always, thank you so very much for watching. I do truly appreciate it. And please like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell when you do subscribe. That way you'll get notified when I upload my videos here to YouTube. And if you would like to get any of this special video series I record for my Vimeo on-demand pages, where I use a variety of divination tools focusing on very specific topics, the most recently recorded videos, I put those links down below in the description box in the show more section. And the most recent video series I've recorded is my full moon lunar eclipse in Scorpio, May 15th and 16th, 2022, psychic tarot, crystal and oracle card readings. There's a lot going on in those readings. I'm using a lot of divination tools. I highly recommend in the eclipse video series I record to watch your rising sign and your moon sign. I'm sorry, your rising sign and your sun sign if you can do so. Also, my solar eclipse in Taurus, April 30th, 2022, psychic tarot crystal and oracle card reading. I also pull a gemstone crystal in those in those soul in those uh, eclipse readings. I pull a gemstone crystal for you. Also, at the end, as to what is the best gemstone crystal for you to work with, use, and wear during the energies of the eclipses, which usually last six months and sometimes can go even longer. I use the same format in both of those video series. My career and finance, psychic tarot, and crystal readings, those predictions started in April of 2022 and go out until the end of October of 2023. My what's lucky and new for you in 2022, psychic tarot and oracle card readings are also available. And my big love readings for 2022 for couples and singles. I did the first half of the reading is for the single people of your sign. The second half of the reading is for the coupled people of your sign. 
I do it because sometimes you start out as a couple and end up single in the year or the reverse. You could start out single and end up as a couple. I highly recommend you watch the entire video because there's going to be messages and predictions in those big love readings that will apply to you on both sides of those readings. So watch the entire reading. Um, also, my Saturn in Aquarius, Psychic Tarot, and Crystal readings, those predictions go out for three years from December of 2020 until the end of March 2023. If you haven't checked them out yet, uh, that is a, those go on for so long. The, the, that time frame, we're still in the we're still being affected by that Saturn in Aquarius. So you might want to check that out. Also, if you would like to get more psychic predictions and messages from my spirit guides channeled through me, you can follow me on my social media pages at the Lucky Mermaid LLC on Facebook and the Lucky Mermaid underscore on Instagram. I use a variety of divination tools there and usually write out the predictions, which are five around five paragraphs long. And many people find they resonate with them. So if you feel drawn to go over and look at those messages on my social media pages, I'm sure that there will be messages in those five paragraphs every time I pull a card and write them that will resonate with you. So really, it's free. You should go check it out. I'd love to see you over there. And if you would like to help support the readings that I do here on YouTube, you could make a donation to my channel. And there's a donation link connected to PayPal that is down below all the different video series I offer on Vimeo down below. And I want to thank you so very much. There's been a lot of people that have been very generous and kind and donated to my channel. It does mean a lot to me and it does help me a lot. So thank you so very much for that. I do truly appreciate it. And I want to give a big thank you to those of you that have followed me all these years on YouTube. This is my anniversary in June of 2022. I've been on YouTube for seven years now. So thank you so much. If you guys were not watching and subscribing, there'd be no point in me being here. So you make my channel work. I thank you so much for that, for all your kind comments and all your viewership and all your subscribership. It does really make a difference in my life. And thank you so very much for that. I do appreciate all of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So I hope you all have an absolutely great month of June and know that I wish you many blessings and peace.